everybody welcome back uh today we're actually gonna do something really fun we are going to take a 2023 zl1 and we're gonna add something to it we are going to take off the factory spoiler and put on this anderson composites zl1 1le spoiler so stick with me i'll show you how to do it step by step so that you can do this at home All right, before we get started, we're gonna cover the tools that we're gonna to need. Uh, we'll need a 10 millimeter socket. Uh, I'm gonna throw that on a 3 8 wrench. Uh, also gonna throw a 10 millimeter on a quarter inch wrench, uh, just in case. Um, you'll want a panel popper of some sort to get the clips off of the trunk liner. Uh, and then once you get the spoiler off, you are gonna want some kind of tools to clean up the, the trunk lid, right? So. I have a 3M eraser wheel, not everybody has that. It's also a plastic knife, not everybody has that. Um, you could even use a uh, panel tool um, to just kind of assist with that. And if all else fails, just use your thumbs and roll the tape away for an eternity. But that's what you'll need. Let's go ahead and get started. give a big shout out to uh, Matt. He is the owner of this car. Uh, a lot of the ZL1 content that you've seen on my page lately, it's not my car. I still have my Wild Cherry uh, SS1 LE, but uh, Matt, why don't you come on in, uh, say hi to everybody, and help me get started with this. So let's do uh, it. First step, pop the trunk. Just kidding. Uh, seriously, you need to pop the trunk. So first things first, we got to get the old spoiler uninstalled. There are two rubber caps here, two rubber caps here, and then the other two screws are gonna be behind this panel. So these, pretty simple, they just pull right out. Set them aside so you don't lose them, and you'll have access to the two 10 millimeter nuts that hold on the spoiler. Same with this side. Set those aside, put them in the trunk. Now, to get this off, First, there's a latch cover. It just slides off because it's made by GM, not Audi. And then you have a few more uh, panels to pop off. Um, so I'm actually going to switch this panel popper out for a different one that I have. The, uh, the smaller, skinnier panel popper. We have a B who has joined us uh, to steal the show. But we'll get this behind and we just pull this out set these aside you don't want to lose them if you do you can get these at AutoZone O'Reilly any other auto parts store they'll they're like 40 cents a piece or you can get like a 10 pack um, but we'll just set those aside in the trunk uh, I've never been stung by a bee so hey there's a first for everything uh, we'll get these off Now, once you've removed those, this should be pretty loose. The uh, pole cable for the emergency trunk release, that should just kind of fall out to the side. This will slide down. That'll actually just flatter it off and set this aside. Uh, one thing I didn't mention earlier is if you have a magnet, you wanna get a magnet so that um, if you do have a tendency to drop these, uh, if you have the magnet nearby, once this, the nut breaks loose and you get it off, you don't want to drop it in here. If you drop it in here, you do have to take the trunk off, uh, the trunk lid off and kind of like shake it out. So don't do that. Um, but we've got our two nuts here, two there, two there for a total of six. Now, when you loosen these, you don't have to worry about the spoiler falling off. It is held on with uh, automotive grade adhesive tape. So we're just gonna break them loose and make sure that it doesn't tip forward uh, before we pull them all the way off.
Now, the OEM nuts are not on there very tight at all. Uh, honestly, if I had to guess, it would like maybe 20 inch pounds. Uh, very loose. You can, once you break them loose, you can get them off by hand. Uh, again, just gonna test, make sure spoiler's not gonna go anywhere when we take these all the way off. Now that we've got the nuts on the inside loose, we've got the spoiler itself loose. Uh, there are two clips on the outside posts that hold the uh, spoiler in place. So now that we're here, you'll wanna grab one side and kinda pinch this as you're pulling. So it helps to have two people. Might be able to get the tools in there. I'm gonna pull that out now. Got it. All right, so we got that side. And then we'll angle this down so it doesn't drop. So I'll hold one side. If you want to start pulling on that side, I will loosen this side up. Got it. Got it. All right, so we can set this down. And lift the spoiler. Now that we've got the spoiler off, you can see there's a lot of residue on here. Um, and this is where like the plastic knife comes in handy. This is designed exactly for this to get the majority off. Um, the rubber wheel, uh, eraser wheel will kind of take off the, the rest of the adhesive, but you don't want to do this dry. So just using a little bit of detail spray, we'll get that uh, soaked up there and then just slowly Apply pressure, peel away. This is where the term work smarter, not harder comes from. Pulls it right off. So I'm just gonna do the rest of the, uh, the remaining two and uh, we'll get this cleaned up. Hit this with the wheel, got it all nice and clean. We will move on to the installation of the Anderson Composites ZL1 1LE carbon fiber rear wing. I want to talk about what comes with the Anderson Composites ZL1 1LE rear wing. Uh, this is the OEM nut that holds the factory spoiler on. We're actually going to reuse these. Let's say you don't have a factory spoiler at all, or you know you have a SS1 LE and you're gonna drill your own holes to take the blade spoiler off and things like that. So here are the things that come with the Anderson composite spoiler. You've got these little discs that uh, the center pops out and you would stick those where the bolt locations are. Uh, you have some additional weather stripping that goes around the bottom side of the stanchions or the, the posts that hold the wing up. Uh, and then you might get these sticks and you're probably thinking, what, what the hell are these sticks for? Uh, and these are actually indexing sticks. So if you had to drill into your trunk, this little post here uh, goes into the bottom of the spoiler in each location and then you set the you temporarily set the spoiler down onto the trunk let's pretend this is the trunk here because we already have holes in that one so uh, really i'm just doing this to show you if you don't have holes what you would do you would put these on your your trunk and then what you would do is using some form of masking tape painter's tape duct tape whatever it might be you would tape those suckers down so they didn't move and then when you pulled the spoiler off, you would drill right down into the center of this post and drill your starting holes into your trunk for where the uh, spoiler posts are supposed to go. But good news, we're doing this on a ZL1. There's already holes. 
all of the holes already match up. So hopefully that clears up the con any confusion if you buy one of these uh, Anderson composite wings and have no idea what the fuck these are for. So we're gonna get this going here. These are pretty straightforward. We just drop down around the threaded bolt. that all six screw locations uh, work harder work smarter not harder not harder not smarter you know we're gonna grab the spoiler here um, we're gonna pop the trunk to kind of get it on an angle we'll or to get it open um, we'll get the spoiler on and then we'll get it up on an angle Matt's gonna hold it on while I get under there and start tightening those those nuts so here, we'll take, we'll take one, one side to get the other. Mm -hmm. right, we will line this up. Let's go. Careful not to. Okay, I'm in on this side. There we go. So Matt, if you want to just kind of, yeah, just hold it down. Pull it up there. I'm gonna get the two outside nuts on here first. Just kind of get them started with this. Or those we'll switch sides. thing you want to do is uh, either dimple your trunk, crack this, crack and spider the paint, or you know, crack the spoiler. So. Now we just got to put the uh, trunk liner back in, put the rubber caps on, and we'll be set. Trunk put back together, put those rubber pieces back on. I love the assistant Matt, it's helping with Matt, doing my best. So, there you go. Outer two on. And uh, remember this has a slight split in it so you can get your wire harness back in. Uh, you have a emergency release valve that is gonna drop in so you might need your hands to do that. There we go. And then this part is easy. All of these are the same size push pin. And then make sure you put your latch cover on. Uh, it is angled, so um, it's really only going to go on one way. If you put it on the opposite way, you'll see it won't fit. So push that on. Nothing really to take it off. So and you're done. We'll uh, we'll try to get some decent shots, some rollers for you, uh, and, and see what this bad boy looks like. Um, we'll get it cleaned of all the fingerprints, and we'll send it.